Ever wanted to feel like a badass necromancer who used the dead to fight his wars? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show exactly how to do that with the necromancer stone. Let's get into it. So, this deck's leader is Fruits of Yiskit, and I'll tell you the reason why down the line. So what it does is it spawns one powered Thrive Engine Gurnikora fruit. And the stratagem can be anything that you want. The first card is Royal Decree because you need to get certain cards. Like I think sequencing is very important in this deck, especially when you when and how you play certain cards. Then is the Nagelfar, which is absolutely a uh, power crap. I don't know if it's it's not power crap, but I think it's a very bad card. Uh, like ammo, no, like NG. Nilfgaard and NR has a uh, Northern Realm has a lot of good thinners and Monster has a really shitty one. I th I guess it's our job to fix this in Gwenfinity. But this does have synergy in my deck, that's why I added it, and I'll tell you when the synergy comes. Hengedate Sword. So I I like this card. I got so much value out of this, oh, uh, especially once I joined the uh, Vernasil. In this deck, it, it's I had to add a 9p special, and I felt like I can't add COC in this deck. It's kind of like it'll fuck you over. So I added Hengate Sword, it, and also it gives a bit of control. So yeah, that's the reason why I added this Ring of fa Favor. Because it's a golden necker deck, surprise. Yes, so as you all know, I like this card a lot in my golden necker decks. It gives like a big points, like 15 points or 13 points in, in round one. And if the opponent wants to, you know, use a spore on it, good. Heat wave on it, even better because uh, we're beating out heat wave. Because we want our Necromancer Storm to be alive, that thing should not be fucked with. So, Golden Necker, obviously, CD comes with it. Cave Troll. Cave Troll has. Yeah, like every defenders, what you do is you protect your tome and you protect CD. That's his job. And like an extra step that opponent has to take to, to get to our tome. Unicorns, because these are kind of the staple in Golden Necker decks now. And you need good thinning in this deck to get value out of the tome. So let's get to what tome does. So I will absolutely love this card uh, for a lot of reasons. First one being it's from my favorite horror movie, Evil Dead. It's first time when it was released, I was like, holy shit, that's awesome. I love it. I was so happy seeing it. And second of all, I'm a huge uh, HP Lovecraft fan, so yeah. Anyway, let's get into this card. Uh, so what Necromancer Stone does is ignore the first ability. It's kind of a flavor thing that the devs have. That it's it's okay. Doesn't matter. I, I've never seen anybody use this card for its first line value. Second line is what's important and what it says whenever you play a bronze unit summon a copy of it from your graveyard to the same row and give it doom This thing is sometimes giga busted and It's like a it's like a deck. It's like a deck where you know if you lose this thing you lose the game. So yeah So you need to have a lot of bronzes in your deck for this to happen and as you will see I have a lot of big chonky bronzes for the tome Jotun surprise seeing this card maybe but I thought this card would be really good in this deck I don't really like this card's design but because they're the devs have forced us to play two shitty 5p cards called ice giants like emo has a lot of shitty cards and uh we had to put these two to get value out of this card which i think is not a good design but yeah it is what it is verification 
as you all know i keep playing this in most of my decks because i get a lot of good value out of this and plus you are running a lot of artifacts you will see one of them is tome then griffin so griffin is the reason why i chose gurney Gern chorus fruits fruits of yeskip because you can put one fruit kill it with griffin and get value out of that like you know you're not destroying any other units you need to have two of them because in necromancer's tome you need to have two copies of the same bronze so two griffins two ice giants this is why Jotun gets value incubus so reason why incubus is there is because you can keep bringing your griffin back if your opponent is trying to bleed and you need to have two of them because if you have already played one incubus and in the later rounds when you're playing the tome and you're playing incubus again you're going to bring the incub other incubus back and another card back so it's going to be six plus six plus seven or nine or whatever you're bringing back which is very good value i feel yeah dude tome is insanely good but yeah most of a meme deck kind of thing right anyway which apprentice uh this is the only engine we have in our deck so in round one put all your big cards in one place and put our little apprentice or piggy in that lane so this, this gets value round, when the round gets over and in the last round put another piggy so this old piggy comes out and you're gonna get plus four every turn which is actually absolutely good right then veil of forbidden knowledge another artifact for your golden necker deck megascope because you have a lot of big cards especially griffin and you can give it to the apprentice so you can get plus six every turn and fiend uh they rework this card and they give it eight for four if i am fine with the design it's pretty good it's uh, better than the last last oh ability of this thing i think it was a uh, boost all death wish units in the hand but by one yeah this is fine but i uh, yeah sure why not i'm happy that this deck works out with this and so this is the this is my deck and if you guys enjoy my video please like subscribe show some love i keep I'm, i keep having ideas about really badass decks like the last sticky situation deck and this one so if you guys enjoy my video please like and subscribe there's gonna be more Here's our chance.
confounded boots. and spirit! special.
Pass on every tent. Quick, move those hooves, or we'll both be ham. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity. Kneel before your king and I shall show you mercy!
Archers, not marauders. Warriors of the soil, close range! An officer and a gentleman. A bloody bastard, always a bloody bastard.
Both truly remarkable and bloody annoying. Impressive. A great old doom anime is fit. Yeah. 
garments are shackles that restrain our desires. The hounds have got to share it. Share the night, share the love. 